Hello and welcome to more gaming fans. I'm your host Joseph Moore here and I am bringing you the traveling through the regions playthrough where I go through every region of Pokemon. Starting today we're going to go ahead and kick off with Kanto here and we'll be playing Fire Red. So basically my plan here is go to Nuzlocke every region and basically have, uh, I get to bring one Pokemon with me through my adventure to every region and that's going to be Charmander. So every game I'll start with the Charmander uh, including my starter. So I basically get two Pokemon right off the bat. But in this game since this will technically be the start of our adventure uh, this is how it goes. Charmander will be our starter and our first Pokemon and the one we carry through the region. So here we go. So Professor Oak's basically just doing his normal stuff at the beginning. So let me go ahead and explain to y'all about uh, how this is going to work. So basically, if you don't know what a Nuzlocke is, which I'm sure everyone, most of everyone knows by now. Um, basically, if a Pokemon faints, it's gone for the rest of the playthrough and you can't use it anymore. So we will be playing to that level, even with Charmander, even though he is our partner Pokemon. <clears throat> uh, you got to nickname every Pokemon you get. And it has to be the first Pokemon on each route. So we're definitely going to stick to the rules of the Nuzlocke here. And we're going to play as far into the game as we can. Uh, Nuzlocke rules hopefully beat the game. But if we happen to not beat the game... Uh, we will continue the playthrough as just a regular playthrough until we get through Kanto. And, you know, mark it as a win or a loss depending on what it comes out to be. And that's just how it'll go. <clears throat> Alright guys, give me one second.
All right, here we go. Sorry for that little delay, but we're going to go ahead and continue our adventure here. Um, so obviously we got to walk through the grass to initiate the capture sequence of, or the oak th thing. My bad. <clears throat> this ain't Pokemon Yellow. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. All right, let's see what Professor Oak has for us. All right, here we go. Twitch debut. Let's see how this goes. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Gary, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Joe. There are three Pokemon here. Haha. <laughs> the Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now, I am in my old age and I only have three left. You can you can have one. Go ahead and choose. Hey, Gramps, no fair. What about me? Be patient, Gary. You can have one, too. All right. There's Bulbasaur, of course, and Squirtle. But we're going to go ahead and go for the Charmander here. And we're going to go ahead and nickname this based off of anime I've been watching. And we're going to go ahead and go with Natsu. Shout out to any of the fairy tale fans out there. So Charmander is Natsu. And of course he's going to pick Squirtle because it's stronger than our Pokemon supposedly. But let's go ahead and see how it fares in battle here. And again... Uh, I'm going to use speed up through the beginning battles because they, they just kind of take a while. And uh, our Nuzlocke doesn't officially start until we get Pokeballs. So we got to get all the way to the Mart and come back. And it kind of sucks in this game because you don't get running shoes until after you beat the first gym. So, I mean, that's one thing we got to endure. But I don't think it's going to be too big of a problem. All right, he said he works at the Pokemart. And he's going to give us a potion as a sample. We'll take it. We need all the potions we can get. Alright, so we got a Rattata. Oh, and we learned Ember. Beautiful. That's exactly the move we need. So let's go ahead and make our way into the Pokemon Center. Heal up real quick to get some PP back. Go to the Pokemart. Get the parcel and run all the way back so we can officially start. Ooh, Ember's doing a good amount of damage. Alright, so sorry for the glitchiness there to speed up, but... That's a little annoying trip that you have to make. So Oak is just basically telling us, thank you for the parcel. And he's going to give us a Pokedex so we can officially start our journey with five Pokeballs. Oh, right. I have a request for you. On this desk, there are Pokedex. High tech encyclopedias. Take one and go go look for all the Pokemon in the world, basically. And here, it's only five Pokeballs to catch 150 Pokemon. Well, thanks, you dick. Now I gotta spend all my money on Pokeballs now. But that's not the, game, the playthrough we're doing. All right, so we do have Pokeballs, so our Nuzlocke has officially started. Let's go ahead and see what we catch. Okay, it is a Rattata. So Natsu's going to come out here, give it a nice little scratch attack. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw a Pokeball since we got some good damage off on it already. So Pokeball, go. All right, we got it. We got it on the first try. Beautiful. Now let's go ahead and nickname this Rattata. Let's go ahead and name it. Hmm. What's a good nickname for a Rattata? Let's go with Ravager, if it fits. Ravager. 
So we got ourselves a female Rattata. And that's the only Pokemon we can catch in this area. So let's go ahead and skip through that battle there. All right, heal up the Pokemon because we're going to need that secondary Pokemon to help us get for future encounters. And let's go ahead and buy some Pokeballs. Let's do 10. And then let's get some potion. Well, we have potions. Let's get antidotes. Let's get three. Uh, one more won't hurt. Let's get another potion. And let's go ahead and get two paralyzed heals just in case never know when you're gonna need them let's go ahead and move on over here and let's go ahead and get an encounter up here real quick and we're gonna skip the how to catch a pokemon thing because we know how to catch pokemon all right so the weedle is there now let's see what we can catch in the forest real quick and then we'll come back out here it's a little strategy I do because uh, there's a rare chance you get a, a bug Pokemon out here. And I want to get my bug encounter in here. Or potentially a Pikachu because that'd be great. And then uh, not have to worry about the Pidgey in the Nidoran area. Alright, so we get a Caterpie, which is a great catch. Now all we got to do is get in the Pokeball. Okay. We got it in the yellow. Now let's go for the ball. And even if we don't get a Nidoran or a Mankey on the other side, uh, Caterpie as a Butterfree is going to help us out really well. We'll just have to kind of get it higher level as we go through. But we got a Caterpie. And we're going to name it... Uh, we're going to name it Swift. I don't know why but I imagined a Butterfree and Swift is the first word that came to mind or you could go Taylor Swift I don't because she's always bugging people with her breakup songs all right uh, let's go ahead and get through this Metapod here because a little more EXP never hurt nobody okay and we get another Pokeball here which is fan freaking tastic Come over here, get our free antidote. Hit an item, of course. Pokemon can't just give it to you. Gotta make you look for it. And luckily, we didn't get that. The Weedle is not a Pokemon I like to use in-game. Only because there's really no benefit to it. Get away from me. Burn, you hairy bug Pokemon. All right, now let's come over here and try to catch us a Pidgey. And a Pidgey it is. Okay, it's level two, so I don't want to attack it. I'm just going to go ahead and throw the Pokeball. All right, Pidgey is caught. And let's go ahead and name it. Let's go ahead and name it. Uh, let's go ahead and name it Haircut. Because there was that little, little stint where everyone was getting haircuts. And they're like, why does everyone look like a Pidgeotto? So Haircut is your name. I know it's not a good one, but it's there. All right, and now we're moving along. Going to go try to get us a Nidoran or a Mankey. Preferably a Nidoran because I that's one of my, that's like my second favorite Pokémon. So let's go ahead and see if we can actually catch it. In my personal playthrough I caught it and it trust me it helped big time. But I love Mankey as well, so I wouldn't be mad about it. Just hope it's not a Spearow. Because that, that's an unnecessary Pokemon for us at this point in time. 
Ooh, and it's a Mankey. So we're just going to go ahead and throw another Pokeball because it is level 2. Oh, and Pig Boy does not want to stay in the ball. Shh, broke out after 2. Let's see what happens here. Hello and welcome everybody to the stream. Oh, we almost had it. All right, we're trying to get this Mankey here because we really need an answer for Brock. And this is a Nuzlocke setting, so yeah, this is our only chance to catch one. So one shake, two shake, three shake. Oh, and it breaks out. It sucks when a Pokemon breaks out at three. But let's go ahead and keep trying here. Also, if you haven't, please leave a like, subscribe, and or follow, I mean. You don't have to subscribe. Uh, oh, we caught the Mankey! Sweet. And share if you can. That'd be fantastic. But Mankey was caught and added to the Pokedex. And we're going to nickname this one Pig Boy. Because it's just a little piggy. It's a little piggy with the big old pig snout. Oh, you know what? I'm going to nickname it Pork Chop. That makes more sense. All right, pork chop, let's go, let's go. And I'm not gonna battle uh Gary over there just yet. I need to do some swift training here, and I don't believe I'm gonna use any other Pokemon right now besides Mankey and Charmander. So I'm gonna do some quick little grinding right here. And let's talk about something. How's y'all's day going? What is your favorite Pokemon? As you know, mine is Charmander. And if you don't know, now you know. Charmander was my first ever pick as a Pokemon. And it's stuck with me ever since. I got a tattoo on my arm to prove it. Okay. Whew, that was good. Now let's go ahead and heal. Because we don't want to lose Charmander to a wild Pidgey. We're going to try to get uh, Mankey like, to level 6. before, Or at least 5. Before we get into the... Before we get into the thing over there. Into the forest. There we go. Now I'm using my words. Alright. Down goes that. We get to level 3. Oh, that's an annoying Pokemon. I do not want to get poisoned right now and waste all my antidotes. So luckily, we didn't get stuck with the Weedle in this area. Because, I mean, either way, we got uh, Mankey on first turn. So that was awesome. All right. Mankey's level four. Can it handle this on its own? Yeah, it can. That means it's one step closer to being... Oh, no. Not against that, though. It's one step closer to being the lead Pokemon through the forest. Oh, and uh, I forgot to mention, uh, if you're enjoying the music, uh, thank you to Glitch City. She has a Pokemon playlist. And uh, I kind of use that because uh, on her profile it says it's free for anyone to use. So thank you to her for making such great beats with the Pokemon music. All right, now let's go ahead and switch back out to not to here. And I think one more battle and uh, Pork Chop should be ready to go for the forest. Oh, no. Maybe two more. Only if I didn't have to switch train. All right, so it's ready now. Let's get through this forest. All right, so I'm going to chill out with the speed up for a little bit. I just don't want to sit there and grind while y'all just watch me uh, beat up Rattatas and Pidgeys. But here we go. First battle in the forest. Hey, you have Pokemon. Come on, let, let's battle them. Let's battle them to the death. Alright, well, if that's how you feel. Oh, great, it's a Weedle. It's a level 6 Weedle. Porkchop. Um, we're going to switch train you on Weedles. 
because Poison Point is real. There we go. Charmander takes down Weedle with one fell swoop. And down it goes. Caterpie's coming in, and I will let Porkchop fight that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get off some scratches. And hopefully we can take this down pretty easily. And uh, this forest is one of the main reasons Charmander is great through the game. Except for the first two gems. The first two gems wreck Charmander. So, good God. It was, it, was, it was brutal using Charmander my first go around. But uh, I did it. I so I got it to like level 16 and I would ember the shit out of Brock. Hopefully get lucky and get a burn and just win that way. And then uh, by the time I got to Misty, I was already a Charizard. So I'd be strong enough to just blow through that. Oh, and Porkchop learned to low kick. So that's going to help us for the first gym. Okay, so we want to get uh, Porkchop to about level... Level 13, really, to start facing the gym. Because Onyx is level 14. We don't want to over-level too much. Oh, and another Weedle. I can't I can't fight these Weedles without getting poisoned, so we got to switch. All right, so Nachu comes out, takes the, str uh, the String Shot. Oh, and I meant to go Ember, but I accidentally misclicked there. But we do get the scratch off. Not the scratch off ticket to win us a million dollars, but we got the scratch off on the Weedle. And the Weedle goes for another string shot to slow us down even more. But that's better. I'd rather be slowed than poisoned. And down goes the Weedle with a critical hit. I'm sure we could have knocked it out with one hit if we pushed it the right time the first time. But hey, Natsu's level 10. Okay, so he has another Weedle. I'm just going to stay in here and just take out this Weedle. Hello and welcome to the stream. Okay, so Weedle shoots off another string shot and Ember should take that thing out. Natsu is on a tear. Of course, it has got the type advantage. But hey. Beggars can't be choosers. Alright, so Porkchop is going to come in and get this switch to get some uh, valuable EXP on it. Because it sure didn't get it on that second Pokemon. And due to the Harden, we switch back out to Charmander and get the Ember off. Oof. But like I said, I do want to get... Uh, Pork chop up to about level 13 before taking on the gym leader. So I know we'll have to do a little bit of a grind. But it, it shouldn't be too too big of an issue. We're almost through this forest. We got about three more battles to go. And a few more antidotes to pick up as well. Should be three more battles. And then we're done with this godforsaken place. It's a... Uh, it's a fun area to be in if you're not nuzlocking, because you can always uh, run around until you get a Pikachu or a Pidgeotto. An underleveled Pidgeotto at that, because it's just like, what? A level 9 Pidgeotto? Dude, the first time I saw that, I lost my freaking mind. I was like, there's no way there's a Pidgeotto here. But I guess since the, the anime had it, they had to give it that 1% chance to find a Pidgeotto. Which is real cool. I like it. I like the fact that they did that. And also uh, putting Pikachu this early in the game. So you actually get a chance to catch it and play with it. Because if you don't, you can't get it till you get Surf. And it's just like, good God. Do I really want to wait that long for a Pikachu? Is it really worth it at that point? But you know. Poor job grew to level 7 though. Really trucking through that Caterpie. And they got another one that's got to go through. So here we go with more scratches. 
If I had a dollar for every time I push scratch, I'd be a ten million dollar heir. Oh, and then the other thing in the anime, I'm surprised Spear aren't found in Viridian Forest. Was it that fort? No, it wasn't. Um, it was just the route before. But in the games, you don't really ever see Spiro in the routes before. You can catch him on the side of Viridian City, but other than that, uh, you don't really see Spiro. Not until, I think, closer to Mount Moon. And after that. And then Furrow is real common in uh, the bike path, I believe. So, it is what it is. You got you can't put all the Pokemon at the beginning of the game. But to avoid running back, we're going to go ahead and use a potion here. Mostly because we get another one. But, you know, we need the health. Alright, this is a wild Caterpie, so we're just going to run from it. We already got our encounter here. I kind of want to uh, level up uh, Butterfree as well, but I probably won't do it till I get uh, Pork Chop leveled up quite a bit. And I'm not going to sit there in front of a Metapod. So here we go. Pork Chop gets a Metapod to attack. Okay. Boom! That should be about four scratches to take that thing down. So, viewers, how are y'all doing tonight? What's going on? What brings you to the channel? I just happen to be here recording, so that's what brings me here. <laughs> oh, and another Metapod. So we're going to stay in and then switch out to get some more EXP. Oh, wrong button. Go down, fool. And Natsu's going to do the dang thing. Alright, Metapod's defense is rising. But we're going to attack its special defense. So that's not going to matter to us very much. Is it Metapod? Metapod. Meta dead. Alright, cool, cool. We nice and smoothing and moving, loot and moving along. All right, now we come this way. Oh, dang it. We almost made it all the way through without a Pokemon popping up. And why is my frame rates bouncing around? I just noticed that. Sorry if there's been glitching. Okay, but we do get the potion here. And one more Pokemon to deal with. Hey, wait up. What's the hurry? What's why the rush? Um I I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Alright, so we got a level nine Weedle. So we're gonna switch out to not to, of course. And even though we did the switch training here, it should be enough to get pork chop up to level 10 so let's hope here's to hoping hey Kami reese welcome to the stream glad you're joining us tonight as you can see natsu's tearing up the field and pork chop is gonna tear up the field here in a little bit and thank you for the follow I don't know why the thing didn't pop up. It's supposed to pop up when I get a follow. I'll check that out here in a second. Maybe I need to have Streamlabs open. Rookie. Rookie mistake. Okay. Not the rise. And 
And let's see, where's the where's the thing? That's interesting. It's not showing up. Here we go. Recent events. Should be there. I don't know. That's weird. It's supposed to be up. Oh, sorry about that, Reese. But here we go. We're almost there. We're almost to where we need to go. On our way to Pewter City. Pork chop kicking little rats everywhere. Oh shit, we're not even level 8 yet. Well, I mean level 9 yet. We're still level... Oh jeez, I thought we were at level 10. Well, it looks like we got a little bit of grinding to do after we get to the Pokemon Center. And we officially are in Pewter City. And it only took us about 30 minutes. That's not bad at all. Alright, we hope to see you again as well. Because uh, you're the one who heals my Pokemon. Don't go anywhere. Alright, so I'm going to speed up. And we can talk as I speed train. <sighs> what you been up to, Reese? i just been playing this game. Yeah, run from that. I don't want to get poisoned. And clearly you saw we did nothing to it. Ooh, lucky us. Oh, man. I need to pay more attention to that. All right, let's go heal. And right now we are speed training to get Mankey up a few levels. Because we certainly need him to be at least level 13 to face the gym. So sorry for the speed up. But it has to be done. But as we're training, how are you guys doing? Please hit the follow button if you don't mind. And you can catch every stream I do. I swear, I'll grow on you. Like, mushrooms. Just kidding. No, I don't. But, I, I like to think I'm funny sometimes. I believe I'm a fun guy. Horrible puns, Joe. Why are you making these puns? And again, sorry for the stream being a little laggy. I don't know why it's been like that. Normally, my, my stream is good. Tethered directly to the router. So I don't know why it's uh, going yellow, yellow, green, yellow, red, green, whatever. It's not a good look on me for my first time on Twitch, that's for sure. I swear, it's, I'm not normally like this. Ooh, karate chop. What do you call a pig that knows karate? Pork chop. And pork chop just learned karate chop. But low kick is putting in the work right now. So we're going to keep using that. We're almost there. We just need about a level and a half. And we'll be there. We'll be where we need to be to take on Brock. I'm also going to get uh, Charmander to level 14. Because uh, reasons. Not raisins. Reasons. But we do need it to be... Uh, level 14 so it's not an issue going through the next route or so oh we got poison all right and this is why we have antidotes and also guys let me know if the music gets too loud i know sometimes i talk a little softer as the as the stream goes on so if i need to speak up or the music needs to turn down just let me know and I will fix it as fast as I can. But here we go, Karate Chop. I'm Karate Chopping the Pidgeys because they're a little lighter as a Pokemon. 
So it's probably not doing as much damage. Plus they have that neutrality because of flying type. So that's another thing. Another thing we got to deal with with that. Hey, but it's doing the work. Can't deny that at all. We're almost there. I wish you gave us a little more HP than that. Or EXP, my bad. But we're managing. Ooh, we're getting lucky with these poisons. Hopefully I didn't just jinx us. Alright, about three more battles and we're good. One, two, three. Yeah! Pork job is level 13. Now let's go ahead and get Natsu up level 13. It won't take as long because we're already there. We're already level 11, so it's not going to take us much longer. Hell yeah, not to level 12. Grinding. Imagine all the dead Pidgeys and Rattatas and bug type Pokemon just left in our wake. Someone's going to walk back behind us and be like, what the hell just happened here? Do you not know shame? Get all these wild Pidgeys and Rattatas to the infirmary now. But nah, not my problem. Oh, we're almost at level 13. All right. Metal Claw. So that's going to be useful just in case. You know, you never know. Mankey could uh, miss and go down to a crit or something. Oh, I just spoke it into existence. Look at that. Hopefully that doesn't happen. I don't want to lose my pork chop. Because I'm a fat man and I need my pork chops. All right, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and heal up to not waste that much time there oh there we go ember a few more battles and we are there finally then we can stop speeding up two more battles okay last battle here we go 14 Whew, finally all right so th that took some grinding up but we did it we did it we did it we did it yay i see moss we did it and we're gonna go ahead and put some pokemon in the box because we don't need them all so the pokemon we're putting in the box right now is gonna be hmm let's go ahead and put Haircut and Ravager in there. I kind of want to use a Butterfree for the playthrough. Just, uh, just cause. Sleep Powder and stuff like that is very useful. Um, I think there's an item over here. If I remember correctly. Oh, there we go. Pokeball. Boom. We found the Pokeball. Can you tell me where's the Pokeball? It's a right here. All right, here we go. We got Pork Chop coming to the front. We got Swifty being Swifty in the back. Alright, and Camper Liam wants to battle. So Geodude comes out first. And let's go ahead and get this Karate Chop off. Ooh, it doesn't quite take it out with one hit. It does some good damage though. Now let's go ahead and low kick here. And we get a critical hit with that. Karate Chop has a high critical hit ratio. Why didn't we get it with that? We would have took it out in one hit. But, not the case here. So, let's go ahead and deal with this Sand Shrew. Here we go with the Karate Chop. Ooh, does about a third damage. But, Sand Attack does come off in our face. 
Let's go ahead and go for the low kick. See how much that does. It does about the same. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for the low kick again. Oh, and we miss. Center attack comes off again, which is not a big problem. Low kick is going to come off. And finally take down the sand shrew. Pork chop put in the work and it got a lot of EXP for it. But we took some damage. So we're going to go ahead and heal up right before we face Brock. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Please leave a like, a follow, and subscribe if you feel so obligated to do so. And obliged, not obligated. I'm stupid. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, we're about to take on Brock. So we need the support. Go ahead and leave a comment in the chat so I can say hi to you. And let's work on getting our first badge. Let's do this. Pork chop is the way to go. As we enter the Pokemon Gym, Brock stares us down with his squinted eyes. So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident and even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit and determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. Fwahahaha. <laughs> You're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer honor that compels me to that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. And as you can tell, I can't read, so. Hooked on phonics, where you at? All right, Leader Brock would like to battle. He sent out Jill, dude. All right, Jim Challenger sends out the pork chop, and he's going ahead and going for the karate chop. Oh, Jill, dude's living in the yellow and goes for the defense girl. Pork chop is sitting there at full health, and he's just gonna go for another karate chop. And down goes Jill, dude. All right. Since the Jill, dude fainted, Pork Chop goes ahead and gets some EXP and gains to the level of fourteen. What will Brock send out next? Oh, he's sending out his Ace Pokemon, the Onyx, but he's staying in. All right. Let's see what he goes for here. It's the Low Kick. Pork Chop almost takes out Onyx with one fell hit. In one fell swoop. And uh, Onyx attacks with the tackle, but Pork Chop seems to have the batch in the bag. And takes down the Onyx. <laughs> Pork Chop gets the win for the Gym Challenger and defeats Brock and earns the Boulder Badge. Thank you, everybody. We got our first gym badge on our road to Nuzlocke in this game. Let's see how we do further. <laughs> Wait, take this. Joe received TM39. A TM technical machine contains a technique for Pokemon. Using a TM technique that move, teaches the move it contains to a Pokemon. A TM is good for only one use until Gen 5. So when you use one, pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyway, TM39 contains Rock Tomb. It hurls boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, we're going to make quick use of that. And we are going to teach it to Mankey. Just in case we're in a no-win situation and there's a flying type on the other side of the field, we want to know it. Um, let's get rid of Leer. Probably should have got rid of Scratch, but you know, we might need it. We don't want to get trapped in by poison types with only fighting type moves. Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're enjoying yourselves. We just won our first gym badge on our Nuzlocking of the Kanto region. So we are going to go ahead and continue our journey. 
and finally get the running shoes because we need that dearly all right nerd give me the shoes all right here we go wahoo we're fast now oh it feels so good to run all right, here we go. We are going to train up this Butterfree because I want to use it. Why else would you train up a Butterfree? Excuse me, you looked at me, didn't you? No, I was looking at the ground. Can't you see I'm looking down? All right, well, last Janice would like to battle. You keep forgetting Mankey's in this game? Yeah, yeah it, no one really uses it. I mean, I like it. But you notice that no one really cares for the Mankey. Everyone goes for the Nidoran. But lucky for me, in this Nuzlocke, Mankey is the first Pokemon to pop up. Would have much preferred a Nidoran. But, you know, I ain't mad. So Natsu has to deal with some accuracy drops, of course. And, of course, he misses his first move. I thought Natsu was a well-trained fighting machine, but I guess not. Oh, well, we hit our second one and almost takes it out. Oh, boom, two in a row, even at negative two accuracy. And down goes the Pidgey. Obviously, we're going to switch out here, mainly to get the EXP for Swift. But we also want to get that accuracy drop off our Charmander. Here we go. Another level nine Pidgey, ready to get taken down by our Natsu. Oh, that's a crit. Oh, well. Ember should do the dang thing. Oh, no burn. That would have been nice. But let's go ahead and knock this thing out. Perfect. Not too damn miss that time. He knows people are watching. So he's like, I'm going to get it. And also our Caterpie uh, levels up to five. So that's wonderful for us. And again, guys, sorry if my frame rate is... Four. I don't know why I'm 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 synced into the I'm directly linked to the router so I don't know why it's doing that and uh, it's not my audio cutting out it's just I can't talk so don't be don't be frightened by that it's not your computer either I just cut my sentences off at random times sometimes because I forget what I'm trying to say but the Caterpie used String Shot, lowers our speed, and we're going to go... Oh, Ember was in that slot, and I moved it, and I don't know why I just used Scratch. But we're here now. So let's go ahead and get a Ember off. Also, while I wasn't streaming, I did get some followers. So I would like to say thank you, River Amber, the Joey Llama, Wolf Nizer, Kaiju VGC, and... J Mirando 24 thank you all for joining and of course again thank you very much Kami Reese for joining uh, following today so Swift is swiftly gaining these levels due to uh, high level enemies here and it's already at level 6 so hopefully we can get uh, a Butterfree by the end of this route Okay, level 10. He could have had all his Pokemon fully evolved, but he didn't. Because the Pokemon company hates bug types, clearly. We could have seen a Butterfree and a Weedle right off the bat, but that ain't happened. Alright, Caterpie, you're about to be a Metapod. Metapod, Metapod. I would do the Caterpie voice, but it's really high and it's probably going to hurt people's ears. So I'm not going to do that. And then we have Charmander. Oh, and we avoid this, the, 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 the string shot. And we get our Ember off and take it down with no problems. And Swift is not level 7. I thought it'd be level 7 after this one, but I guess not. We're just going to have to keep on trucking. All right, let's go. Hey, Mr. I Like Shorts. They're delightful and comfy and easy to wear. Welcome to the battle. 
We're going to knock you down a peg or two. Oh, no. I didn't mean to stay in there. Take the hit. Oh, Jesus. That was bad. If he created us, that would have been the it for Swift. But we're going to go ahead and switch out to Pork Chop here. Pork Chop. Oh, and he goes for the Tail Whip here. Good thing we switched. And let's go ahead and get the Karate Chop off. Oh, he goes for the Quick Attack. And that's going to do some decent damage. But it's not going to kill us yet. So we get the super effective attack off on the Rattata. And down it goes. Swift gets to level 7. And we are about to celebrate an evolution after this battle. But let's go ahead and get Swift a little bit more EXP before the evolution. I wish I could evolve mid-battle. That would be so freaking awesome. Eight generations in and that still doesn't happen. It needs to happen. Pokemon Company, fix it. Fix it. Do something about it. But here we go. Ekans is sitting on the other side of the field. Intimidates Caterpie. And now it leers Charmander as it comes in. Our defense is dropped, but our offense is high. Let's go ahead and get an Ember off on this thing. Ooh, and the rat misses. We don't quite take it out on two hits, but hopefully... We get a burn? No. No burn, but we are wrapped, and we're going to take some more residual damage. And uh, go for another Ember and finally knock this thing out, and let's go ahead and celebrate a evolution. Here we go. Swift is evolving. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, the music matched up perfectly. We got a Metapod. Metapod. Heck yeah. Metapod is in the party. Uh, excuse me, needed some water. And now we can move on over here to this bug trainer. And it'll help us get some more EXP for Butterfree. To get a Butterfree. Butterscotch. Here we go, Natsu, come back out. And we're going to have to put a, a potion on you here in a second. Just don't get poisoned, please. And of course, I ask you not to. You do it anyway. You're in your stubborn teenage years. You're 14. You just want to die, don't you? Uh, I guess a few people been there. But it's going to be okay. I got the medicine for you. Swift is level 8. Not too doesn't quite level up. But we're going to go ahead and take this time to put Swift in. Uh, let him harden up against us. Nah, that's what she said. And um, go ahead and heal up our Charmander over here. So a potion for you. And an antidote also for you. God, you're so spoiled. Alright, here we go. Gonna switch in Charmander here. And this should take it out, no problem. Ember! Wahoo! Down goes Kakuna. And we're gonna get to level 15 with uh, Natsu as well. You know what that means. One more level and we get another evolution. And I just can't wait for that. All right, here we go. You still can't take on a Pokemon yet because you're just a uh, sorry ass Metapod. But speaking of Butterfree. If you didn't know, I also have a podcast called Pokey Dippies on Spotify and other places, of course. Go ahead and give that a check out. We have a, a few uh, uh, episodes already. 
but our most recent one is of Butterfree. So if you like to learn history about Pokemon or listen to battles, that's the podcast you want to hear. And of course, there's always comedy going around. All right, Metapod's going to come back in. It desperately needs this EXP to evolve. Good thing is we have like four more battles to go. And also in the podcast, I do say if, um, if, um, Jesus, I can't think. Uh, it's going to come back to me. Hold on. In the podcast, there's a part if you listen to and you uh, repeat back to me in the comments on PML, uh, I will gin a team for that person. So it's always fun. I do a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm a streamer for Zamora Gaming. Uh, through Zamora Gaming, we run the Pokey Dippies podcast. And I also have Zamora Gaming on Facebook. And I'm a head admin of the PML group on Facebook. So lots of things that I, I contribute to the Pokemon community and other communities too. It's not just Pokemon, but mostly Pokemon PML is all Pokemon, but we do do some smash and, and, uh, Mario Kart and other games like that. Pretty much on Nintendo. Really? Ooh, Caterpie goes down. He could add a Butterfree. I wish Game Freak would have done it right. But judging from the amount of Pokemon he has and the EXP we just got there, we should be getting a Butterfree after this. No, never mind. I thought he had more Pokemon. But okay. Hey, Joey Llama. Welcome, welcome. Need to set my alerts up. I did. I tried, uh... I was just on uh, Streamlabs a second ago trying to figure out what was going on, but I don't know. It worked when I tested them out, but it doesn't want to. Uh, it doesn't want to go off whenever people actually do stuff. So, like, uh, let's see. Let me test it out. Alert box, test subscription. Oh, maybe it's me. What's going on here? Test. Hold on. Let me see this right now. So you guys can actually get the stuff going here. Test. There we go. I guess um, I had it set up for YouTube. So now it should work. It's all set up now. But thank you, Joe, for letting me know. So now anyone who follows now can see their thing pop up. And uh, I'll readjust how it's supposed to look later. Because I have like a cool Charizard decoration whenever people will join and stuff. It's good times. Good times. But here we go. Natsu's going to come back out here and get us a kill. So we can be that much closer to a Butterfree. Because that's really what we're going for right now. Screw the Nuzlocke. Who wants to see that? Everyone wants to see an evolution of Butterfree. And it won't hurt either because we're going to get a Charmeleon evolution here in a second too. All right, now we're going to battle this chick since she's uh, a little bit easier to battle than the guy down there. Especially since we have a big old uh, flying weakness right now. Uh, let's go ahead and we got a switch. Let's go pork chop. All right, Porkchop goes and gets a low kick off on the Rattata. Not enough. 
Man goes for the tail whip here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go for the potion. Because I know we're in that critical critical health level. We don't want to get knocked out to that. Because if that was a crit, we would have went down. So we're going to go ahead and get the scratch off. Surprisingly, not another quick attack. And down it goes. And pork chop is going to gain some levels as well. Let's go ahead and go back to Swift here. And then we're going to go out to uh, Charmander so we can, so we can, whatchamacallit, not get poison pointed. But I mean, if it goes for poison stings and poison us, there's nothing we can do about that. Oh, it whips its tail back and forth. It whips its tail back and forth. And just lowers our defense. I guess we're too mesmerized by the tail shaking. Oh, you can growl me all you want. I'm special attacker. Down goes Nidoran. Woohoo, we getting there. Uh, now we can battle this person. Get the Orin Berry, because that's necessary. Oh, that rhymed, kind of. Uh, no TMs. We got to get the Berry Pouch. And we're going to go ahead and give it to Natsu here. Just in case it knocks us to the yellow after this battle. Or in this battle. Because this dude has like a level 14 Spiro. I'm not trying to die to that. Not today. Not today, Satan. Not today. Level 14 Spiro. And definitely after this battle, uh, we're having a Butterfree. We're getting a Butterfree for sure. Not so much a Charmeleon, but we're on the right track. So here we go. Ember attack. Hopefully we get the burn to half the damage. Oh, no, 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 no. No crit. No crit. No crit. Stop. 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 No, this doesn't count. <laughs> the orange berry didn't pop off. Why? That don't count. I'm not counting it. Y'all can't do nothing about it. That was trash. Five. Oh, and then we miss. Nope. I will not accept that. I thought the orange berry pops off. In the middle of the hits. I guess that's a later generation thing. I would have just not done this battle if that was the case. But uh, Swift goes ahead and learns uh, Confusion. And we're going to go heal up because I do not accept that crap. Critical hit, really? And I thought, the, <laughs> I thought the thing did it. Don't judge me, guys. But no, that's just not, that's not how it goes. It's not how it's happening. Judge me if you will. I'll sacrifice butter for you if I have to. Now I do win it. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and see what we get here. Oh, a Jigglypuff is the Pokemon we got to fight. Let's go ahead and get the confusion off here. And that's not doing anything. We're going to go ahead and switch out. Hopefully, it doesn't try to put us to sleep here. To Pork Chop. Oh, it goes Defense Curl. So it's going to be a little bit more annoying to kill. But as long as Karate Chop gets a crit here, no, it doesn't take it out. But it only goes for Defense Crow. We don't have to deal with the sleep crap. So down goes Jiggly Wiggly. And we get level 15. So all our Pokemon are going to be pretty good leveled here. Even, um, even Butterfree. Which I'm having second thoughts about, but you know, we're just going to leave it on the team for now. I mean, I know I put in all the effort and wasted all the EXP to level it up, but it's a butterfree. But we're going to use it. You know what? I'm dedicated now. Why not? Unless we find something better, then I'm not going to use it. Like, if we get another grass, if we get a grass type or something, oh yeah, you definitely know we're switching that out. I forgot we had our running shoes. It's been such a long time. 
And we got a person berry, which is cool because uh, Zubats are in this cave. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know. And uh, they confuse the hell out of you all the time. And we're about to get another Pokemon here. And we get Magikarp. And I don't remember that fish story. Or else I would nickname it that. But we're just going to nickname it uh, Nemo. Why not? Why are you sleeping? Nemo's going to turn into a ferocious beast. But here we go. Mount Moon is the way to go. Let's see what our first encounter is. Oh my god. It's a Zubat. Not even surprised. Let's go ahead and go for the tackle here. We don't want to knock this thing out because we do want another Pokemon. Don't think we'll be using this though. So I'm going to speed up there. All right, now as that's in the yellow, let's go ahead and throw the Pokeball. A one, a two, a three. Boom! We got we got Batman on the squad. Batman! Batman! So Batman is on the squad. I'm not going to level that thing up because I don't want to use it. I really wish we could have got like a Clefairy or something. But uh, this is good train fodder for Swift here. And oh look we found a Paralyzed Hill. Alright let's go ahead and move that to the front so we can just confusion everything. Let's go ahead and look at our Pokemon real quick, though. I want to see what kind of natures we got. See if we got any lucky ones. All right, so we got Hasty, so minus defense plus speed. We got Corky, which I believe is a neutral nature. We got Impish, which is... Uh... Oh, that's actually a good one. It's special defense plus and special attack down. And then we got another neutral nature of Corky. And Docile, I also believe, is neutral nature. So... It is what it is. I don't think we got an encounter on the other route, though. All right, here we go. We got a trainer battle here. And they have a Weedle. Let's go ahead and go for this confusion here. Swift is now able to take on Pokemon all her, all her own. And she takes it out with one fell swoop. And then Kakuna is coming in, which is a much easier kill because it can't attack i remember in the old red and blue games i believe they were still able to have poison poison sting which makes sense but you know it was kind of annoying because you got poisoned out of nowhere like what the heck was that but here we go you got me you got me good Joe got $132. And now we're going to go heal because we need to heal. Uh, I think uh, the first time I went through this, uh, I, I didn't use anything but Charmander and Primate. Oh, yeah, easy kill fodder. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, my gosh. Can you die for real? Jeez, Zubats are annoying. But we're going to go ahead and put Porkchop up to the front. Because she has a Clefairy. And there is no Fairy typing in this game, fellas. So we're going to go ahead and take this thing out. Karate Chop it straight to the dome. Whoa! Dang, super effective. No crit, it just... He just went all in on that one. Iris goes down. And now we can go ahead and move uh, Swift back up to the front. So we can get everyone about to level 16. We do got to get everyone to level 20 before we battle Misty. And uh, if we get a Oddish level 21. Because that's when it evolves. 
Yeah, I'm not going to mess with that. Because it's not a one-hit kill. Till we get Gust. Then it's going to be an easy kill. But let's go ahead and take on this Rocket Grunt. We are Team Rocket. Oh, we Team Rocket. Oh, elegantly spoken. Our Pokemon gangsters. We strike fear with our strength. Sure you do. It's certainly not the outfit. But we have a sand shrew on the field. No, oh, excuse me. A level 11. So we're just going to go ahead and go for the confusion. Go for defense curl all you want. It's not going to help. We'll just keep going for confusion and knock this thing out. Oh, critical hit. You go down. So slowly but surely, we're getting the levels. Let's see what it decides to send out here. Rattata, I think we can handle you. Let's go ahead and keep spamming our psychic type move. Oh, he gets a crit on us, though. Payback is a pain. What's the risk of him getting a double crit? Oh, but we're faster. Here we go. Take this thing down. And we're good. Zubat's coming in. We could take that thing out, and then we'll probably potion up after this. But yeah, guys, if anyone is watching here that hasn't followed yet, go ahead and follow, and you'll pop up on the screen. You'll be on YouTube and Twitch. Okay, we are at level 13. Swift gained just enough EXP, and we're learning Poison Powder. Not going to learn that. Uh, I want stun powder and sleep powder. And I don't need substitutions for it, so. Okay, let's go ahead and potion up. Butterfree. Free, free. I would do it the regular way, but it's too high pitched, like I said. Star piece. That's going to be something we can sell. And let's go ahead and move on to the mountains. Move on to the mountains. Oh, I almost want hit KO. <clears throat> well, let's go ahead and come this way. Another Zubat. Haven't you learned, Zubat? No one likes you. Go home. Go home. Not one Jill dude popped up. All right. So this is where we're going to get our Charmeleon at. Right here. It's going to go right here, son. I'm telling you, fella. What? Don't sneak up on me. Well, I just did. What you going to do about it? Super nerd Javon sent out Magnemite. Oh, you're going down. Steel typing is a thing in this game, and Magnemite is no longer a thing in this battle. 208 AXP, and we get them levels. So we're going to have ourselves a Charmeleon. Pork Chop comes back in. Well, comes in. And Karate Chop should take this thing down no problem. Defenses are paper thin. Oh, no. It stayed alive. Luckily, it doesn't know self-destruct yet, though. So there's that. My Pokemon won't do. No, because they suck. But here we go. Natsu is evolving. He's becoming a better Fire Master than anyone in the world. But I did notice someone left. Thank you for the support. Thank you for watching. Um, congratulations. Natsu evolved into Charmeleon. Hell yeah, baby. Here we go. Rare candy for not the faint of heart. Uh, we're going to go ahead and lead Swift back so we can get to level 16 there. I know not in this battle, but eventually. Wah, wah, wah. Caterpie comes in. And confusion goes off. 
Oh, good damage. We take that hit like a G. And Catter P goes down. We're gaining EXP like a mofo. Metapod is in our way, and it soon won't be. Ooh, confusion. Got the confusion off. Rubber ducky, you're the one. And confusion finally takes down this Metapod. And we move on to the last Pokemon in his party. We will annihilate it with, you guessed it, Confusion. Confusion is the most powerful attack of any Butterfree that can hold it. And so, you know, it learns Psychic. Then, that's a better move. <laughs> I don't think it learns Psychic naturally, though. But man, they, they missed a big opportunity. But for not making Gigantamax Butterfree a uh, Psychic Bug. Or even a Mega Pokemon of a Butterfree into a Psychic Bug. He would have done so great with that typing. Or she, you know, whatever. But we get our Stun Spore. That's going to definitely help us get Pokemon. Uh, to catch Pokemon. And finally, a Geodude pops up. And we got ourselves an escape rope, just in case we get into a sticky situation. And down goes that chill dude, without a trace. Oh, Clefairy, the Pokemon I really wish I could have got. And we got last Miriam with an Oddish. How Oddish of you. But Confusion's going to come off. No problem at all. Take this thing down. Hello and welcome to the stream. Or welcome back. Not sure. But Oddish is going to go down to the Confusion, of course. Because it's part poison. Then we have, I believe, Bellsprout coming in. And we're slowly working our way up to level 16. Along to catch up with the rest of the team. But we are on the right track, for sure. So Bellsprout goes down here, and we're that much closer. Now we get to go down this ladder over here. Ding, 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 ding. Sounds like a, a Christmas music. All right, now we battle another Team Rocket Grunt. What the hell are y'all doing in Mount Moon? Don't you have better things to do? Team Rocket Grunt would like to battle. Sit out Zubat. Oh, you done fucked up now. Because guess what? Confusion. Oh, Zubat hangs on for our dear life. But we're not going to waste a, a, another confusion on you. We're going to go ahead and tackle here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I couldn't even if I wanted to. So Zubat goes down here. And Swifty is out of, uh, she's out of, uh, what she calls it, Confusions. And I don't have an ether on me either. And I do not feel like going back to the Pokemon Center. So we're just going to have to finish off this, uh, little trek without her. Let's go ahead and go to Pork Chop here. Ekans comes out. Ooh, Intimidate lowers our attack, which sucks, but, you know, I, I believe in pork chop. Eesh. A lower attack and lower defense. That's the opposite of bulk up. But we're getting there. Good thing is she, uh, Ekans isn't attacking us, so. We're good and golden. There we go. Almost level 16. Almost. Oh, wait, you know what? There's an ether right here. Ah. So that means um, Butterfree gets to stick around for a little bit longer. Come here. Let me get that confusion back up by 10 points. 
All right, TM46 Theft. Uh, I normally give it to my Caterpies, but uh, I don't think, I mean, uh, Butterfreeze, but I don't think I'll need it on this one. Okay, so we get the confusion off. Oh, and it hurts itself in confusion. <laughs> Down goes Rattata. Looks like a crit itself. All right, so we got another Rattata coming in. We're going to go ahead and go to Pork Chop here. <clears throat> Ensure that one hit KO. And then last, I believe it has a Zubat, which isn't going to be a problem at all. And we do want to try to get everyone level 16 through the cave. Hopefully level 17. Just depends on the Pokemon we got to battle. But so far, so good. We're not going to learn Fury Swipes. And then Zubat's coming in. So thank goodness we have Swifty here. T-Swizzle. Confusion goes right into that Zubat. Tears it a new one. I think we hit it so hard his eyes opened. Losing stinks. Well, stop sucking. Okay, so we're going to set up for that battle there. We're going to go ahead and not lead uh, Butterfree because... If that Onyx has a Rock-type move, I'm not trying to lose my Butterfree right out of the gate. Oh, you shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid. Yeah, a kid that's about to kick your ass, old man. I'm going to be on you like a spider monkey. So Geodude comes in. Porkchop ready to karate chop his head in half. And he does. So Porkchop gaining them EXPs. Geodude comes back in. He's like, Geodude. Geodude. Geodude, what the fuck? Why'd you send me in against a fighting type? Just forfeit the match. And no, that's not how that works, Geodude. We need the EXP. Ooh, and the Onyx seems to hang on like it has sturdy. But we're going to go ahead and go for the low kick here. I should have probably went for the low kick in the, in the first place. Onyx is a heavier Pokemon than uh, Geodude, so I, it would have done more damage. Potentially one hit KO'd, but oh well. Hindsight is Bainte Bainte. So we run around the mountain over here. We are going around the mountain over here. Picking up a revive, fighting team rocket. Oh yeah, we're going around the mountain. All right, I'm gonna leave pork chop up front because you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna leave pork chop up front. I think Rattata is the Pokemon we fight here, and it is Rattata is going down. Karate chop to the face. And Rattata's guts are all over the place. Pork chop is our highest level Pokemon right now, which is insane. And there's a Sand Shrew on the field. So I'm going to stay in. I'm going to do that. I'm going to save my confusion PP for later. Going to save my PP Wee Wee. And let's see if low kick does the damage. Oh, it does about the same. Oh, and we missed due to the sand. Can you not, like, liter literally not do this right now, Sand Shrew? I got shit to do. I got places to be. And low kick hits and knocks him out. There we go. I'm steamed. What are you, a dumpling? You wish. All right, let's go ahead and go around. A mountain and around and around and around and around and around and around and around, and around, and around the mountain okay let's see here huh, no leave me alone all right here we go we're gonna put mrs. Swift over here 
we, Team Rocket, shall find the fossils. Uh, turn around, dude. You'll find them if you just turn around every now and then. There's a fossil behind you, but you can't revive it because you suck. So here we go. Team Rocket Grunt would like to battle. He sends out the ta 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 and the, the, the down it goes to confusion. <laughs> oh no, it stayed alive. Man, there's a bunch of songs going around here. Stayin' alive, stayin' alive. Oh no, Hyper Fang, don't you dare. Whew. Oh, Tackle doesn't do it and snaps out of confusion. Hyper Fang goes off again, don't you dare. Oh, ho, 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 that is a very scary moment in the playthrough. I do not want my butterflies to go down to the stupid ratata. Jesus Christ, dude, stop. Dick. Hyperfang does damage. But we're good. We good. Let's go ahead and go back to Swift here. We're going to go ahead and potion it up before we do anything else. And I know we're real late into the episode or stream, but I really hope you guys are loving the layout. I took some real time to pick out exactly how I wanted it to be. And then the letterings, I thought it'd be cool to like swap it. Like green on the red, red on the green. And then make it blend. Oh, I thought it was amazing. Hopefully, it's visually pleasurable for your eyes as well. And I also thought going with the original art of fire red and, or, you know, red and green and all that stuff would be cool too. So that's why you see that on the screen. I would have added water, but I didn't really want to put there's no blue uh like aqua blue version or nothing like that so i was just like oh well plus where would he fit and then i had to and if i did that i might have had to put uh uh lightning yellow or some shit you know so it's four because you can't put three it's uneven eh, too much thought process you know by red leaf green's perfect enough but we took out that Team Rocket Grunt, and we're clearly not talking about that battle because he's irrelevant. But if you didn't know, oh no. Leave me alone. Well, if you didn't know, there's a Moonstone right here at this rock. So there's two Moonstones. You could evolve your Nidoran and Nido. Oh, Nidoran, Nidoran, Nidorino, and Nidorina. There we go. Nidorino and Nidorina. So you can have both final evolutions. And this dude really thinks we care about fossils enough to steal them from him. So he's like, my fossils, leave me alone. So we got to beat him in a battle here. So Grimer takes this confusion and very well, actually. Oh, and it disables us. That's not cool, man. So let's go ahead and go for the sleep powder. Let's go for the sleep powder. All right, sleep powder goes off. Now we're going to tackle it to death since we're disabled. And hopefully uh, the disabled stops here. So we don't have to switch out. And we're finding the level 16 with Swift. And you know what? We might want to switch out anyway. Let's go ahead and go to Natsu here. All right, so level 12 not to, what are you going to do here? We're going to go for the Ember. Oh, and it goes for Charge. It's going to get a special defense boost. But we should still be able to take it out with Ember, judging from the attack power we had previously. And it does go down. Whoop, whoop. Coughing comes in, and that's not going to be a problem. We're going to go back to Swift. Alright, let's see. Coughing is in to do some damage. We're going to go ahead and go for a confusion here. 
And it takes it down one hit thanks to a crit. So, so far, so good. Our team is rolling here. So, Super Nerd Miguel. Now he's like, all right, take a fossil. And it's like, dude, I didn't want one in the first place. But I'm going to take the better one out of the two. Dome fossil. All right. Then this fossil's mine. Also, guys, throw in nicknames in the comments. So the next Pokemon we catch, I'll just nickname it whatever's in the comments. It doesn't matter what the Pokemon is. It's 2021. We don't, we don't discriminate here. Okay, leave me alone, Zubat. That's the only thing I discriminate against. Zubats. They're fucking annoying. Alright, here we go. So we're going to learn Mega Punch and Mega Kick. Mega Punch for Natsu, because we need a good normal type until Slash. Which is until like level 42 or some shit. Stupid. But it's the thing. So now we know Mega Punch. Now we're going to learn Mega Kick. And we're going to teach the Pork Chop here. Because all I know is it's Scratch and it needs a much better move than that. So let's go ahead and continue on with our journey. Journey, journey, journey. And we get a Raspberry. Ha, <laughs> little Raspberry. With the little Raspberry. And then we get a TM that we can sell. Let's go ahead and heal up our team before we try to catch a Pokemon. Thank goodness we have uh, Butterfree with Sleep Powder too. Okay, here we go. Sandshrew? Or does Sandshrew not come out in this game? Okay, well, that's dupes. Oh, it's a Spira. Yay. Well, let's go ahead and go for the sleep out of here. Let's go for the tackle. Another one. All right, now it's in the yellow and it's asleep. This is the perfect time to catch a Pokemon. Let's go ahead and go for the Pokeball. And if we catch it, it's another Pokemon we're not using, so... It is what it is. Uh, what do we want to do with the Spiro? Oh, no one left a nickname. I guess let's go ahead and name it Wendy. Another uh, another fairy tale nickname. Now let's go ahead and put uh, her in the box or him in the box, whatever it was in the box. We don't discriminate. Whatever you are, if you're trash, you're still going in the box. All right. So, so far, our team is set in stone with a Butterfree, Natsu. And Mankey. Pork chop. I don't think I'm going to use a magic carp just yet. But I'm going to keep it in my party. Only because I'm already using Butterfree and Charizard, which are both flying types. I don't want to have too many flying types. And we're going to come uh, into your household, man. So we can get this rare candy. All right, now we're going to go back to the old man's house over here. And let's see here. Are we ready to fight this guy? All right, we got a full team. We got a full full heals. Fully healed. Um, we got... Let's get some super potions. Yes. Uh, five, if you will. Um, repels, of course. Let's get seven of those. And then let's see what we can sell here. So, TM, uh, Roar, of course. Um, we're keeping those because they actually do attacking moves. 
Um, let's see. Star piece. You're for sale. Uh, not too worried about the escape rope. That's for sale. Every oh revive. We can't use those, so that's for sale. So let's go ahead and buy more. Let's buy three more super potions. And 18 more Pokeballs. 18? No. Let's buy seven more. Because I want great balls later. I want my balls to be great. Alright, so we can't put uh, Magikarp in the daycare just yet. And here we go. Yo, Joe, you're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Oh, you had to throw that in there. They're so smart. Can they talk like a normal person? Then they're not that smart. Here, let me see what you caught, Joe. I don't think I want to show you, you smug bastard. Why are you forcing me? Oh, shit. I didn't think about that. Um, let's go ahead and yeah, I'm not I'm not doing that. Let's go ahead and switch not to in uh, accuracy falls, which is fine. Let's go ahead and go for an ember. Who that did nothing. All right, so our accuracy fell again. Oh, ember missed. And Gus is gonna start wrecking our world. Get a burn. Nope, sand attack again. That's three. I don't need you. Don't need to get three. One's enough. Okay, quick attack comes off. Amber goes off. Okay, he withdrew Pidgeotto. And he's sent in Squirtle. And of course, we miss our attack. Now, let's go ahead and go to Swift here. And he won't withdraw. He's, he's going for a setup. Now, let's go for the Sleep Powder. Oh, we miss. Oh, Water Gun. Doesn't do enough damage, though. So we get to Sleep Powder off. Very intense battle here. Okay. Now we get our Confusion off since his special defense isn't raised. Oh, that does nothing. But we do get the Confusion, which is great. So if he wakes up, he still has a chance to hurt himself. He does wake up. Hurt yourself. Hell yeah. Now, sleep powder. We want to keep this thing asleep as long as possible. There's no sleep clause either. Switch out, bitch. All right, here we go. Confusion. And this is not doing enough damage at all. Oh, woke up again? You, you lucky shit. But you do hurt yourself again. So, I'm just going to go for the confusion. Maybe it goes for withdraw or something. Hurt yourself. Oh, it goes for water gun. Okay, that's fine. Let's go for the confusion again. We could take another water gun. Oh, it snapped out of confusion. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Ah! Alright, cool. We're still faster, so we're going to go ahead and finish off the Squirtle. Luckily, he didn't. Uh, luckily, he didn't. Uh, what you call it? I can't think. Luckily, he didn't heal it. There we go. So, Natsu's going to come back out. We're going to probably have to take a quick attack from this Pidgeotto. And um, we're going to go for Ember. So, no quick attack, which is lucky for us because we didn't. We don't have to take more damage. Natsu grows to level 17, which is fantastic. Uh, Rattata comes out. That is all pork chop. His name's written all over it. And we're going to go ahead and go for the Karate Chop. No quick attack. Down it goes. Plus a crit. Probably didn't need it. But Rattata is down. So here we go. Abra comes in. And Swift is ready to make swift work of this thing. We're going to go ahead and go for the Tackle. 
Ooh, paper thin defenses plus a crit. You can't teleport anywhere. You're mine. You're trapped. Oh, but tackle doesn't do enough there. So there we go. We defeated Gary, our rival. Oh shoot, we never battled him before the first gym too. That could have helped us with some EXP. But I guess it wouldn't be worth it, you know. Oh yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really. You're always plotting behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. As a favor? What? You're going to give me a favor? Wait, ah, that doesn't make any sense at all. You're going to give me a gift? Oh, as a favor. Like, he's doing me a favor. I'm stupid. This is why I failed English class. Not seriously, but, you know, I could have... <laughs> If English wasn't so easy, I would have failed it. Because clearly I don't talk no good. Alright, so this is a bug catcher. Let's go ahead and put it not too up front. Alright, I'm going to fly through these because these are like real easy battles. And I'm just going to try to get everyone to about the same level. So, level 19, right? There we go. All right, switch it up a little bit. Let's go ahead and put pork chop up next. Uh, karate chop, karate chop, karate chop. Uh, mega kick, mega kick. Oh, and that's with the, that's with the accuracy drops. We just fucking drop both of them. Okay. Uh. That's three. Let's go ahead and move Butterfree over here. Because I know these next few have poison types. There we go. Swift making swift work of that. Sorry if it's a little fast. But uh, Mankey goes down no problem. And now we got the Team Rocket Grunt. Who says if he defeats us, uh, we could be on his team. We could join Team Rocket. Which doesn't happen. Not because we always win, but even if you purposely lose, he's like, you're too weak to be in Team Rocket. So it's like, dude, what the hell? You just contradicted yourself, you hypocrite-ass boy. But, you know, it is what it is. So Swift uh, should be level... Should be level 18 after this. Oh, Zubat hangs on, though. Oh, and Super Sonic's. What kind of douchebag confuses another person's Pokemon? I would never do that. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, two confusions in a row? Come on. Three? Four? Jesus. Dude, are you a stupid person? So now we gotta waste a uh, a potion here because Swift is retarded. And I, dude, just attack. I don't care how confused you are. Just fly forward. And we learned supersonic. No, I'm okay. There we go. Supersonic will not be in my dictionary. Yeah, I'm too good for Team Rocket. Tech speed is fast. Why does it feel like it's slow? Oh, well. Let's do it to it. And we found TM45 for a track. I think TM45 used to be a uh, Thunder Wave. But let's go ahead and see what we get over here. It's a uh, Dupes Claws Pidgey. A uh, Dupes Claws Caterpie. Oh, and now we get a Weedle. Gross. Well, let's go ahead and sleep powder this thing and just throw a Pokeball. Hopefully it catches. So now we have both bugs available to us. Which is good and bad. I mean, at least we don't have to worry about dealing with this Pokemon later ruining a Pokemon capture. And we got Weedle. 
and we're gonna nickname it and still no nicknames in the chat guys what's going on um we're just gonna name it sting because why not pro wrestler sting you're going in the box nope all right let's see what we catch over here i really hope it's an oddish or a bell sprout bell sprout bell sprout and these are two different locations and we do get an oddish um i believe in these games uh sleep powder does work still on grass types okay uh sleep powder tackle oh shit sleep you douchebag all right here we go pokeball go and then we'll have to give swift uh antidote on the way to the pokemon center and oddish is captured and i always nicknames my oddishes mary jane because they are the weed pokemon So Mary Jane is in our party and it's a female, so it fits. So let's go ahead and, uh, oh, Petra Berry. <clears throat> but let's go ahead and give it a antidote. So it doesn't faint before we get to the Pokemon Center. And now the goal is to get MJ to level 21. And I'm going to go ahead and put, uh, uh, should I, I kind of want to put Swift in the box for now. It's gotten us this far, but, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we put Butterfree in the box? I'll hold on to it for now, but I'm not going to stop using it unless y'all really want me to use it instead of. Well, not instead of Mary Jane, because I'm going to need Mary Jane for this next gym. So, let's go ahead and see how this goes. I kind of wish I'd get a Blossom, but I can't get the Sunstone until way later in the game. And I don't feel like ginning one in, so nah, we're not going to do that. Let's go ahead and battle this guy right here. I just got down from Mount Moon, but I still got a lot of tank in the gas. All right, we'll see about that. All right, Machop comes in first, and Mary Jane is wondering what to do here. Let's see how much damage we do. Okay, not much at all. Uh, how much does he do? Oh, he's focusing. He's focusing his power. Let's go ahead and go for poison powder. All right. Machop goes low kick, which does nothing. So we're going to stay in here. We're going to whittle this thing away nice and slow so Mary Jane can get all the XP possible. Because we really want that level 21 evolution. Oh, that does a lot. But not enough to scare us out. So let's go ahead and go for another absorb here. Because at least we're getting health back. And again guys. If the uh, if the background music gets a little loud. Let me know. And I could always fix it. But so far so good. We're, we're killing this Machamp no problem. And this Mary Jane is pretty fast. To be uh, level underneath. And still outspeed the Machop. It's really awesome. And now Geodude's coming out, so we should be able to take this thing down no problem. Of course, Absorb is four times effective on Geodude. Oh, doesn't quite take it out all the way, but almost heals us all the way to full. Goes for the tackle, and we take that. We take that no problem, and we are level 15, judging from the EXP we got last time around. Hell yeah, Mary Jane's on the right track to help us win a Pokemon Gym Badge. Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead and move. Um, 
Let's give it the item. The the, 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 the bullet seed. Because uh, each damage does 10. So if we hit 5 times, we do 50% damage. And that's a lot more damage than just absorb, which is 20. Ooh, can we get a tract? Let's go ahead and use a tract instead of sweet scent. That might help us out. I'm going to keep absorb. And theft can go to... I don't know if I want to keep Butterfree, though. So we'll see about that. And eh, we'll just leave it in the box for now. <clears throat> I mean, Psychic is cool. But, I mean, like, Psychic typing is cool. But he's not a Psychic type. He can just use a Psychic move. Excuse me. I saw your feet from the grass. Oh, really? Did you? I wish we could do the mute thing here, but it doesn't work in these games. I trust me. To try. Oh my gosh, thought we blue screen there. But Mary Jane is back in, and I do not trust it to beat a Rattata because Rattatas are surprisingly powerful. So we're gonna go ahead and go pork chop here. We do get the defense drop, but we should be fine. Let's go ahead and low kick. Uh, probably should have karate chopped. But it still did the damage. And Mary Jane still gets a good amount of EXP either way. So now we're going to go ahead and swap it back in to switch train. Intimidate goes off. Let's see what happens here. Let's go ahead and go Natsu. Uh, Lear comes off, but we're fine. And we're going to go ahead and Mega Punch here. Oh, it almost goes down. All right, and uh, we're going to go ahead and go for an Ember here. And we take down the Ekans, no problem. All right, so Natsu gets some EXP along with uh, uh, Oddish. And it is going to be a powerful Gloom once we're done here. So let's go ahead and move on to the next battle. Let's come here. And let's go ahead and bullet seed. Oh, it goes first. That's fine. If we get five bullet seeds, I'm sure this will take it out. Oh, two. We could have absorbed that thing to death. But I think we're fine on health, so let's go ahead and just keep on trucking. Alright, Mary Jane's trying to learn Stun Spore. That could be useful over Poison Powder. So, Mary Jane learned Stun Spore instead of Poison Powder. And, of course, Sleep Powder is probably going to be the thing I really use. Um, I kind of want to fight that kid, but I kind of don't because he has a really strong slow poke. So I'm not going to. I'm going to absorb and see how much this does. Okay, so Tail Whip comes off. It's fine. I'm not too scared of it. If this does over half, I'll stay in. It does not. I'm going to go ahead and switch out to Pork Chop. Ooh, and they switched out. Oh, interesting. I am switching back out. All right, Mankey, you're going to be switched out for Natsu over here. So Porkchop does not want to risk getting pecked here and dying. So I'm going to go for the Ember. Very interesting when the NPCs uh, switch out like that. All right. 
And Ember on the Sparrow. We get our revenge. All right, Rachada comes back in, and we're gonna go straight to. We're gonna go to Mary Jane, because I think uh, that resets the EXP giving, and it'll just go straight to Mankey if we just go straight to Pork Chop there. And we don't want to do that. We want Mary Jane to get some levels so it can be a beautiful gloom. Hyper Fang did over half. Wow. But we go for a karate chop. And down it goes, luckily. Whew. That was scary. All right, we defeated Youngster Joey. And we need to heal our team quite a bit after that battle. So we're going to go ahead and run down to the Pokemon Center. Whoop. Oh, look, time travel. All right, now we're back on our way to go beat some Pokemon up. So, whoop. There we go. Time travel again. Route 25. We here. No, I didn't want to battle him. That took me to the great party on the SSN at Vermilion City. Oh, did he? No one cares. Okay, so this sucks. I might actually go Swift here. Because I don't know what to do other than that. Uh, it has confusion as well. So, I'm not trying to deal with that. So, let's just tackle this thing away. And, oh my god, this is going to take forever. <clears throat> confusion for a special defense drop? Oh no, it just confuses, right? Oh, well, I'm going to super speed this battle. Jesus, this is going to take forever. There we go. I'm not mad. I don't care what you are. I don't give a damn what your name is. But yeah, I didn't want to risk losing a Pokemon to that Slowpoke. Slowpoke is tanky, and it can actually do a lot of damage if it wants to. So, not risking it. And I think it did have confusion, so I wasn't trying to get one hit KO'd with my brand new Pokemon either. But we can't do nothing here. We're going to go ahead and switch out to not to. Let's go ahead and get an Ember off. Man, all these Embers and no burns. Eh, good thing it's not too big of a deal. Natsu takes down that Nidoran and gets some EXP while doing it. Now Mary Jane comes back in because it wants more EXP because it's almost there. It's almost there to level 17 and then it's going to do some work in these next few battles and then we're going to be having a good time because <clears throat> we're going to get an evolution for sure. We still got about another hour to go on the stream. Maybe two. Just depends on where we end up. And let's go ahead and get the Ember off here. I'm hoping to end up in... I'm hoping to defeat Erica before the stream is over. And we still got you know, three more badges to go. But uh, Lieutenant Surge is pretty easy. As long as the puzzle doesn't kick our ass. And... Uh, with Charmeleon, we'll be fine with Erica's gym. And uh, as long as we get Gloom to where it needs to be, Gloom will also be very useful. <clears throat> but here we go. Absorbing Geodude's powers to feed our own. And here we go. We're on a tear now. We're just going to get a bunch of Geodude uh, EXP. And also, I can also go get the Versus Seeker in between the, b before taking on Misty at all. So, that's also a good thing. And Mary Jane is fighting these Pokemon like a boss. <laughs> It's 
All right, we're learning Sleep Powder, which I rather have over Stun Spore, honestly. All right, Mary Chain learned Sleep Powder. We're in it to win it. All right, we got Machop. We're going to stay in because clearly we've been taking care of business with that. And we're going to just go ahead and absorb it a couple times and knock this thing out. Alright, this bullet seed. Hopefully, uh, four hits takes this thing out. Oh, only two hits. <clears throat> That's fine. We'll go ahead and get our health back here. Ooh, perfect. We, we had just enough amount to get ourselves back to full. All right, now let's go ahead and see what this dude leads. Hey, um, did anyone else trap themselves back there? I did as a kid. It sucked. I, uh, I was over here. Um, I was playing when I was younger. And I went in there to get the item. <clears throat> and then without thinking, I was like, okay, I'm tired. I don't want to play this no more. And I saved inside that box. And at this point in the game, you still don't have cut yet. So I was just like, I didn't even think about it. I just saved and it was seismic toss. I, I gave it to my Charmeleon and I went, I just turned it off, saved it, turned it off, went to sleep. <clears throat> then the next day I go into the game like all right I'm ready to continue playing you know beat Misty and all that shit turn on the game and you're stuck it's just like what the fuck just happened why can't I get out because you know you pulled the guy forward to get in there but once you turn off and restart the game you can't do that <laughs> you can't pull him forward anymore you have to have cut to get out, and it was just like FML, FML moment as eight year old. Or no, I was way younger than that. But uh, you know, it's just one of those moments when you're a kid and you're just like, "Fuck, why didn't I think about this?" You didn't think of the consequences, and now you're paying the price. All right, we get Ekans down to yellow health. Oh, and we get poison. Good thing we have some antidotes. Rule number one of doing Nuzlocke. If you're going to do a Nuzlocke, make sure you have healing items. Because if you don't, you will be fucked. F-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-C-K. Fucked. All right, TM-43, secret power. A secret power! A secret power! Antidote. It goes to a Jew. And let's go ahead and I guess heal up as well. Because we took some good damage with Mary Jane as well. It's an Oranberry. Alright, you ready? I had this feeling. I knew I had to battle you. Okay, that's kind of sus. Why you have feelings about me? Oh, shit. Balls. Here we go. Ekans is the Pokemon we got to take down here. I should have probably taught Secret Power to Oddish, honestly. Because there's not much else I could do to these things. Ooh, Poison Sting comes off, but we're going for Sleep Powder. And we get it. So hopefully we get a free switch in. Yeah. 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 Get it. Yeah. 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 Get it. All right. Mega kick. Here we go. I don't know why, but this mix always gets me like pumped up. Like, rah. Let's go. Let's go. 
Whew. All right, Sand Shrew's coming in, so Mary Jane can handle that. No problem at all. Dun, 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 dun. Absorb. Take it down to half. Oh, it did better than that. Great job, Sand Shrew. <clears throat> All right, Absorb's going to finally take this thing down. And there we go, baby. Level 19. Two more levels, and we have a beautiful Gloom. And also, guys, I'd like to thank all my viewers at this time to just for the fact that you are sticking around and, you know, watching. It's it's great to see some support coming from the community. So thank you, guys. But we're going to go ahead and keep on trucking. Let's go with Natsu here. Because <clears throat> MJ's not going to be able to do anything to these Pokemon at all whatsoever. And I guess I don't really need a tract on it either. Because I just realized that Star You and Star Me don't have gender. So it's not going to help us in the gym battle at all. So that was kind of a waste. I could have sold it for money, but oh well. Here we go. Natsu is good to go. It's going to kill all these Pokemon. All right, one less Pokemon to deal with, and we'll be at level 20, which is be fantastic for us. All right, Natsu's level 20 and learning Smokescreen. We're not too worried about that. You know, I think Smokescreen should be like a field hazard. It kind of like a uh, fog, <clears throat> but only against the opponent, so it's not like fucking yourself over at the same time. But it should work as like a permanent accuracy lowering thing, because then, uh, <clears throat> then they have to defog it away, and like in the show, they always have to blow the smoke away. So I think it'd be better like that. All right, I'm going to come back in and redo this because I totally messed up the skit here. All right, here we go. Oh, my God. Look at this cute little Clefairy. Hey, Clefairy. Oh, my God. He's talking to me. Hiya. I'm a Pokemon. No, no, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. Hey, what's that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, pal. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with the Pokemon. The man behind Slaughter 1 is now following. Thank you for the follow, my man. Thank you very much. So how about it? Help me out here? Yeah, sure. I'll help you out. I'll wait in the teleporter. When I do, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. You got it. You're not crazy at all. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go. I'm just kidding. We're going to help the guy out. We need that SS ticket. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. Sorry about that. Um, I just thought you were a crazy person, but I realized you have something I need, so I'm going to help you out. All right, here we go. Bill is a person again. Hiya, Bill. He actually has a country accent in the manga, so that's why I gave him a country accent. <laughs> Yeehaw! Thanks, bud. I owe you one. So, did you come see my Pokemans collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. I've got to thank you. Oh, uh, maybe this'll do. Joe received an SS ticket from Bill. Joe put the SS ticket in key items. No one cares. No one really cares. That cruise ship, SS Ant, is in Vermilion City. I hear there are a lot of trainers on board, too. They invited me to do their party, but I can't stand fancy dudes. Why don't you go instead of me? Go on and have a good time. All right, I will. But I kind of did want to look at your Pokemon as well. Like, because, hello, Eevee. So there's Eevee. There's Flareon. There's Jolteon. And Vaporeon. So we added all of them to my Pokedex. And I'm probably going to add... 
I'm probably going to add uh, Jolteon to the team, if anything, because Electric-type Pokemon are not easy to come by at all. So let's go ahead and continue on. And yeah, I'm kind of speeding past this. Because we got to heal up our Pokemans. Alright, so we have a decently hard battle that we're about to have to do. Because, you know what, let's go ahead and beat these gym trainers real quick. See if we can get to level 21 like this. Splash! I'm first up, let's do it! Alright, let's do it to it. Swimmer Lewis would like the battle. <clears throat> oh, I should give him a Mexican accent. He has sent out the horsey. Alright, Mega Punch. Oh no, what am I doing? Not so you're not supposed to be leading the charge here. Oh well, he's already in. I might as well finish this battle. Well, this uh this first Pokemon. Sorry, MJ, I didn't mean to steal your thunder. The shoulder's coming in. And you should be able to take that thing out no problem because the special defense is sucky. So let's go ahead and go for the absorb here. I know it has icicle spear, so that could be scary. Oh, it didn't quite take it out. Uh, don't kill me. Stop. Stop. That's more than two. Dick. So we get the absorb off, which is good. <clears throat> Gives us a little bit more damage there. And let's see. This can't be. Yes, it can. Because it just was. All right, and we're going to go ahead and battle this little gym. Oh, stupid. I forgot to put... Uh, whatever. Don't kill, please. Okay. Okay, so Supersonic confuses us. Don't stay confused, Oddish. Please don't stay confused. There we go. We got the Absorb off. Now we can live a peck if it goes for it. All right, snap out of it. Ooh, horn attack. Snap out of it. Oh, you're fucking worthless. Here we go. Super potion. We're not losing you, Mary Jane. Can't lose you right now. We need you. Absorb. All right, perfect. You snapped out of it finally. <clears throat> Ooh, that did a good amount of damage. Alright. Tail Whip. Okay. Whew. I thought it said Peck. I was like, no, I don't think I can live that. Talk about risking it for the biscuit. It. Here we go. We got... Oh, shit. We got a good amount of EXP for that, but still not enough. We need two more levels. Two more levels. That's all we need. So we're going to take a brief detour because I'm stupid. We could have got to level 21. But I done fucked up, A.A. Ron. So we're going to go ahead and have to do this hard battle back here. But let's go ahead and put Mary Jane at the front. And Natsu's going to be the only one who's going to be able to take out that drowsy because uh, psychic type really hurts my team right now. Especially since uh, Butterfree doesn't really learn bug type moves. <laughs> so it's kind of worthless. Alright, here we go. We got him a chop here. We're going to go ahead and go for the absorb. Because, I mean, what else are we going to do? Decent damage. Shouldn't be able to do much in return. All right, we're full health, so let's go for the bullet seed. Try to get some damage off. Hopefully, we get more than two this time, you know? Oh, wow. Trash. 
Anyway, let's go ahead and get the absorb off. Crit. Nope. But we do get health back, so that's good. Oh, that does nothing, sir. Don't you know I'm a light seed with, with leaves as hair? You can't hurt me. And we get a absorb off as well. And we're at level 20. Beautiful. But now Drowsy is coming in. So let's go ahead and switch out to uh, Natsu here. And let's go ahead and just go for the Mega Punch. Boom! Knock it out. All the way. All the way. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh it disabled us now. So at least it didn't attack us or confuse us. Let's go ahead and go for an Ember. And it does enough. That big ass special defensive mind goes down. And Natsu gets to level 21. Not the Pokemon we we're trying to get to level 21, but you know, I'll take it. We take those. Okay, he said he'll return dig and it's gonna go straight to us because uh it's it's mine. I'm a thief now. Alright, route five, let's see what we get here. And it's a Pidgey, so it's dupes. I'm gonna run away before I die to a gust. And I'm gonna go ahead and oh I don't have uh I don't have uh what you call it? I don't have uh, a <laughs> I can't talk. I don't have magic carp. There we go. But magic carp shall be here cuz uh if I ever need a water type that's flying, uh you're my guy, dude. Could have swear there was like an item over here. I mean, what's the point of this space if there's no item? Right. Right. No, I'm wrong. Oh, well. Let's see what Pokemon we can catch, though. Yeah, I'm, I have confidence we can run away from a bird type. Meow. All right. Now, let's go for an absorb. I don't take it out. Okay, good. It's at half health. It is asleep. It's Pokeball time. We catching Pokemon. And we caught the meow. Meow. And we're going to nickname this thing Danny. Because it sounds like Danny DeVito. I know it doesn't, but you know. Danny DeVito should have been the voice of Meow. Meow. Well, let's go ahead and put. Oh, uh, I was going to put it in the PC. Oh, well. Let's go get the Versus Seeker like we planned on doing. We don't have a Nidoran, so we're not trading that girl. I don't feel like looking for uh, items in this place, so we're not going to. And she just tells us about people dropping stuff in the Pokemon walkway. So, of course, you get a Citrus Berry here, but little do people know. Rare candy. Alright, we're gonna save that battle for later. Um Mary Jane can actually do some real good damage over here. So I'm gonna just speed through these because I'm just trying to get the levels. And then uh she has a Q-bone. Oh no, she ha doesn't she have a Q-bone? Could have swore she had a Q-Bone. No, she just has a Pikachu. But uh, we take those as well. Ooh, so close to level 21. And uh, I think this dude just has Eradicate. So let's go ahead and get Porky up front. Ooh, this is, this is scary. It's Spearows. Okay, now it's Eradicate. I was like, what the hell? I thought it was a I thought it was a normal type Pokemon. But it's fine. 
We we living. Karate chop killing. So I'm talking about baby right there. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. There we go. Now we are good to go. Oh shit. <laughs> the whole reason I came over here. Give me the versus seeker. So if you need the versus seeker, you get it from this girl. And then uh, you get the old rod. Might as well. We already have a magic carp, so it's not like we can really catch anything with the old rod besides a tentacle, and I don't want that. I want to star you. You can get that in the city. Okay, and he's going to give me the bike voucher, so speed through that. And let's go ahead and see what Pokemon... Oh, no. Let's see what encounter we get over here. Ugh, an Ekans? Fuck my life. Um, I'm gonna rock tomb it. I don't think it'll kill. Okay, it missed. Again? <clears throat> Alright, so your speed fell. Mary Jane comes in. We sleep powder. Sorry for the speed up, by the way. I'm just trying to get through this. <clears throat> through this part. All right, we got a Pokeball off. And boom, we're good to go. And we're going to call you Jesse. And if we get to coughing, we're going to name it James. Jesse James. Wow. Okay, uh, let's avoid as many trainers as possible. Because I don't want to... I don't want to battle these guys just yet. Look away. What you looking at, old man? Alright, pork chops level 19. So we get another escape rope. Come this way. Get a great ball. And I think uh, you can't get leftovers until this thing leaves. Oh, I think you need the item finder. Like, you have to have the item finder. Okay, item finder. I need... I've only caught 15 Pokemon species. I mean... Evolving the Butterfree helped. Well, I thought this was Mike Myers for a second. <laughs> Dang, it's like a maze over here. Oh, that's what I wanted, but didn't get it. Now, I'm not going to get my Diglin encounter yet because I want an actual... Eh, screw it. Let's go get it. Alright, so this is my plan. Oh, no. I can't do it yet. Okay, let me go get this great ball. I have a method to my madness. Just watch. Just watch! Nope. Okay, great ball. Taken. You know what? We can actually get our... Mary Jane, come here. And that's not doing anything, so I'm going to go back to pork chop. What the heck? Did I hit myself that hard? Alright, super potion. What the hell? Mega kick, come on, hit! Jesus Christ, you trash ass Pokemon. And evolution time! Gloom is here! It's 
So now we can fight Misty. Uh, antidote. All right, so now we're gonna run back to uh, Cerulean City. Cause this is well, this is the way. Come on! Oh no 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 no! I wasn't supposed to fight you. Oh! If you wanted to, he could have wrecked my soul with that Pidgey, or she, whatever. This isn't supposed to be a battle right now. Okay, be careful where you go. There's attackers everywhere. Okay, there we go. Enough with the... Enough with the speed up button. Well, hold on. Sorry. I just yelled at myself and I still did it anyway. <clears throat> Alright, so we got a full team of six it seems, but we're going to put some Pokemon away. Uh, Jesse and Danny, back in the box with you. Meowth, that's right. Okay, so our box is filling up pretty well. But now it is time to duel. Let's go ahead and... I'm going to give, should I give Mary Jane secret power? No, I'm not going to. Uh, I am going to give her a berry though. And I'm going to give her the citrus berry. Because 30 HP is a lot of HP, baby. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth time. Hi, you're a new face. Only the trainers who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What is your approach when you catch a trainer catch and train Pokemon? My policy is a all out offensive with water type Pokemon. Bitch, no one asked. This is my story. Leader Misty would like to battle. Leader Misty sent out Star You. Challenger, what is your Pokemon? Po pork chop. Damn it! I'm stupid. All right, here we go. Mega kick. Water pulse comes off. Oh, that does a big old chunk. And of course you miss. You trash ass Pokemon. I'm getting tired of pork chop. But here we go. Mary Jane switches into the water pulse. We take it okay, I guess. Oh, great. We take it fantastically. Now let's go ahead and go for the absorb. Harden's not going to do anything for you. Oh, maybe at night, but not right now. All right, this is night, but not not versus me. Critical hit, too. Here we go. Exactly what we needed. Star you goes down. We're not confused, which is great. I was going to put Personberry, but I, I decided against it because uh, health is more important. Here we go. Starmie's coming in. The leader missed. He sent out Starmie. What will you do, trainer? Oh, swift attack comes off. Oh, but Mary Jane goes for the sleep powder and misses. Oh, what's going to happen now? Swift keeps coming. And sleep powder connects this time. I'm guessing the tactic is sleep and attack. Sleep and attack. Starmie is fast asleep. This looks like a one-sided battle. Ooh, Starmie can take a hit, though. Look at that. Did no damage. Starmie, stay asleep. It's for three more turns. Well, two more turns after this. All right. I assume she's going to use a, a super potion or something. But uh, Starmie, you swift. So she's in it to win it. Here we go. No healing item, please. We'll take this next, uh, okay. Super potion, fair enough. But we're just going to keep attacking. I don't think we need the sleep. Because she's just going for swift and we could take those. 
As long as she doesn't go for uh, the water move and confuse us, uh, I think we'll be fine. Because we heal 30 damage uh, once that citrus berry pops off. And she hasn't been able to get us into that range yet. Oh, it finally does. Why isn't my berry popping off? Oh, I don't like that. The berry's supposed to pop off as soon as you hit yellow. Oh, well. Starmie goes down, and thanks to Mary Jane, we are champions of the Cerulean City Gym. Go, Joe. Go, Joe. Go, Joe. Party like it's your birthday. Yeah, yeah. Party like it's your birthday. Yeah, yeah. And I will. Because it's not my birthday. Wow, you're too much. Not the first time I heard that. You can have the Cascade badge to show you beat me. Oh, wow. That confused me because it was one word. It was Boulder badge one word. The Cascade Badge will make all Pokemon up to level 30 obey you. That includes even outsiders you get in trades. There's more. You can now use Cut anytime, even outside of battle. You can cut down small trees to open new pathways. You can also have my favorite TM. Joe received TM03. TM for Water Pulse. Thank you, Misty. Now, if you don't mind, I got Lieutenant Surge's ass to kick. I was dancing to the music, music. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we mother freaking go. Time to go get us a Doug Drio, Drio, Drio. All right, no one said they wanted Butterfree, so I'm not going to use it no more. <clears throat> but here we go. Not to come this way and let's destroy these bug types and these battles don't matter really because we know Charmeleon is just going to tear through these and uh, welcome viewers how are y'all doing today welcome to the stream we are currently doing a Pokemon Nuzlocke of Fire Red, just in case you didn't know. And uh, our team is looking pretty beefy. We have Natsu, the Charmeleon, Mary Jane, the Gloom, Pork Chop, the Mankey. And uh, we just decided not to use Swift anymore, so she's kind of just there. But let's go ahead and see what we can do on this boat. Um, kind of debating on like speeding through the boat because there's not much to it it's just battles so i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna do that let's do it okay let's uh get the pokemon we want up front first pork chop needs some love uh we're gonna teach it uh secret power instead of mega kick because it's missing a lot So here we go. Let's go ahead and swap that around. I'm gonna swap that there. Okay, there we go. Now it's where I want it to be. All right, pork chop grew to level twenty. So so far so good. All right, secret power because we can't hit poison types with uh with with fighting moves. This is a normal t uh, water type though, so we can hit that. No problem. And wow, low kick did more than karate chop. And down goes those Pokemon. And we're not going to learn focus energy. It's not worth our time. We already don't get crits with the high crit chance of a karate chop. So what's the point? All right. So secret power gets tentacle down. And low kick takes out star. You we know that now. So we got rest to sell. The TM for rest. 
And this dude creeps me out because he's like, I like little boys. And it's like, whoa, this is a PG channel. Just kidding, not really. But still, it's like, whoa, that's uh, that's against the law, sir. All right, let's go ahead and uh, oh, I thought it would initiate a double battle, but I guess not. Let's go ahead and get the karate chop off, low kick to finish it off, so we don't waste more. And he is just icicle punching us away. And so far, so good. Whew. We got pretty low on health there. <laughs> That's scary. Dancing with the devil on that one. All right, now we're full health. And there's no battle in this one, so we're just going to go ahead and get the item. And I could have swore that was like a hidden item over here for a hyper potion. But I don't see it. Okay. He just talks about the move strength, so I'm not too worried about it. Alright, here we go. Uh, Natsu is less than pork chop, so we're going to start leveling him up a little bit. And then let's move that there. Jesus, you would have thought that'd do more. Oh, that's why. All right, let's go ahead and move back to pork chop for that one. Oh, roared us out. So everyone's getting EXP for that one. Ugh, butterfree. You're not supposed to be out here. Oh, cool. We're rested. I was always wondering where the our bed was, but it's actually the lady in this game. Oh, we went for the ember attack and still got burned. All right, we're level 23, but we got to heal again. Shit, dude, come on. Figure out what you're doing. Oh, and she wants a cherry pie. Not going to happen. Okay, just talks about her wiggly tough. And now here's time for the battles. So let's go ahead and get another... Oh, we got a burn this time. Nice. And then let's, uh, oh, she has a Pidgey, so we can't, we can't use MJ there. Yeah, there's not much MJ could do on this ship, believe it or not. All water types, and MJ's still going to struggle. So we're not going to worry about that too much. Let's do a little jig. All right. Well, how about I just burn you? Okay. Well, that didn't happen. But Mary Jane could take out Shelter. That's for sure. What? She broke through a confusion? I'm shook. Okay. That's it. It's all the people on the on the boat. Or, well, at least that part. And then he wants to tell us about Snorlax, which is good to know. Good to note. Good to know. All right, now we're going to switch out hard to uh, our, to Mary Jane. Just don't don't hit yourself in confusion, please. There we go. Smart, smart Mary Jane. All right, now we're going to go back out to Pork Chop because uh, secret power kills. And then go back out to Mary Jane. Ugh, don't. There you go. Whew. Yeah, that's not a... Uh, there we go. We're going to go that way. because Oh, he has a Pikachu. I thought it was a, rapid, a Ponyta. I think in the original games it is. But uh, Thunder Wave. Oh, I was trying to avoid the paralysis and it got me anyway. But he uh, he missed his second attack. I think it was Slam. And we're able to get our... Uh, we're able to break through paralysis. So I'm cool with that. Super, super cool with that. Okay, so it doesn't allow the double battles. 
Okay, switching back. Oh no. Why'd you burn me? All right, super potion. I got to really pay attention here because Ponyta hits like a truck. Okay, so this isn't going to work out. I'm going to have to switch to not to. Uh, here we go. T, uh, berry. Oh, I don't have a burn heal. <clears throat> the one item I don't have. You think an antidote would work as well, but I guess not. Let's go for Mega Punch, even though our attack is lowered. Sorry, one second. Never mind. It was nothing. Um, but... Uh, we still got this Ponyta to deal with. And we're going to try to knock it out as quickly as possible. Mega Punches are doing the work. Sadly, we are negative one attack. So, not doing as much as it could be doing, but, you know. It is what it is. And we defeat the gentleman. And, of course, we're stupid on the right line of fire. And we have uh, Rattata coming out. Pork Chop should still be able to take care of that. No problem. Ooh, through the burn crit. And uh, Mary Jane can handle this. Yeah. Take me back to full. Biatch. All right, we got an next attack. That could come in handy. Hi, lady. Kill me. Yes. All right, cool. Now I don't have to run to the Pokemon Center. Woohoo! Okay, that's the that's the door we're just in. No, that's the door we're just in. And uh, funny enough, the, in uh, Gen Two, there's the boat scene where after you beat the game, you go on the boat to go to Kanto. And uh, this is the little girl you actually play hide and seek with. And this is the old man that gives you the steel coat or metal coat. So it's actually pretty cool. If you think about it. I mean, I thought about it. And uh, where is it? In this room right here. It's the first time they officially uh, bring in Looker. They just don't give him a name yet. Until Gen 4. But he's an international police. I mean, who else could it be? Right. Right. All right. Now let's go ahead and put the right Pokemon. Speaking of right. Uh, in the front of the party. And here we go. We're about to kill this man's Pokemon. Bonjour, Joe. Imagine seeing you here. Joe, were you really invited? So how's your Pokedex coming? I already caught 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in grassy areas and look hard for him. I bet that's how you have to do with your penis. All right, here we go. Now we got to battle Gary again. In our rival battle, battle, battle. So, of course, he leads his trusty Pidgeotto here. And um, we're going to go ahead and go for the burn. Oh, critical hit and burn. Oh, what a great turn for us. And all he does is go for a tackle, which we take like a champ. So Pidgeotto goes down after one turn. And that was some EXP right there, boy. I tell you what. Alright, so we go Mary Jane. Because War Turtle's coming out. And we're going to go ahead and absorb here. Ooh, goes withdraw. Really going for that defensive setup. It's worked so well the last time. <laughs> All right, so that doesn't do as much as I want it to do. I'm going to go for the attract here. Boom, and you fell in love just like that. It was a love story between a Romeo and a Juliet. 
a water type, a grass type. It was never meant to be, but they were so in love. And clearly this is a toxic relationship because she's beating him. And he's still like, I can't hurt you, babe. But, you know, it is what it is. And War Turtle is still in love and it's so in love it can't hit me. So Bullet Seed that bitch to death. Take every ounce of money he has. Leave him homeless. Take the house and the car. Fuck it. I don't care where he sleeps. It ain't gonna be comfortably. That's for sure. Just kidding, guys. Here we go. Mary Jane gets the kill on War Turtle. And Kadabra comes in, which is, ooh, a scary Pokemon, of course. A horse, of course, of course, a horse. Natsu's gonna come in, though, and give him that uh, Dragon Fist Mega Punch. And boom! Right to his ugly snout. And, oh, it lives on one. What's with this Pokemon living on one? And, of course, confusion comes into play. Ember, baby. Natsu, you are a smart man. Don't you fall for it. Hell yeah! Kadabra goes down. And Natsu gained a shitload of EXP for that. And lastly but not leastly, Mr. Porky Chop is going to come in and destroy this man's life. Eradicate? More like dedicate. Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? And down goes Eradicate after one Karate Chop. He cut its head off. It's dead. He's going to go put it in the Lavender Town uh, graveyard. I heard there was a Cut Master on board, but he was just a seasick old man. Cut itself is really useful. Yep, it'll be Andy. You should go see him too. Smell you later. I bet you smell because you're sucking off that throw up man. Oh, now we got to do it. Oh, I feel hideous. Oh, seasick. Dude, how are you a captain and you're seasick? What kind of bullshit is that? Joe rubbed the captain's back. Rub, rub, rub. Hopefully it was uh, consensual. Whew, thank you. I feel much better now. You want to see my hit and cut technique? I don't think that's how you cure seasickness, sir. I could show you my prize cut technique if I weren't so ill. <laughs> I know. You can have this hidden machine. Just take it. Uh, no one else is going to ever need it. So you take the only HM01 uh, there ever will be. And everything will be fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. You're the new cut master now. You're the captain now. I am the captain now. I am the cut master now. Alright. Bye, SSN. And now, a moment from our sponsors. Just kidding. Uh, now we got to catch a Diglett. Diglett, Diglett, Drio, Drio, Drio. Hopefully a Doug Drio, honestly. And uh, this is this is where it goes from here. So, pork chop, come over here. <coughs> um, we're gonna go repel because we don't want Diglett, so we want Doug Trio. There we go, Doug Trio is here. Mud slap doesn't work. Uh, I think it gets cut or slash. Hopefully, it doesn't have it. Oh, yeah, beautiful. All right, it's in prime condition. Great ball, go. Oh, shit. All right, here we go. Pokeball. <clears throat> we have Pokeballs for days. I don't care. All right. Tackle. Tackle. Uh, missed. Tackle. There we go. You're in the red. Go to sleep. There we go. You're asleep. You're in the red. 
Great ball. Go. Yes, 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 yes. Doug Trio was caught. Level 29, dude. Can you believe that shit? We're gonna call you stink. Two in the pink, one in the stink. Nah, three in the stink. That's where we going. Trio, trio, trio. That's three floor shits. All right, let's go ahead and go back so we can get a cut mon. I don't want to teach cut to any of my Pokemon here. And, uh, <clears throat> Butterfree has officially been, uh, used up as what I wanted it for. Um, pork chop stays. We're going to withdraw. Meow. To be our cut Pokemon. And lucky for us, no deaths yet. So, that's fantastic. So we're going to teach cut to Danny boy. The pipes, the pipes are calling. And then water pulse to nobody. Brick break to nobody. Oh, wait, you know what? Brick break to pork chop. Because it's better than karate chop. <clears throat> and then theft to pork chop. Because why not? Just in case we need to get a quick cheeky hit off on a psychic type. And there's nothing else for him to do. This girl is on fire. Alright, here we go. We're going to go ahead and... Oh, I thought I healed up. It's fine. I'm going to... I'm just going to go through... Oh, man. Arena trap. You gonna make me do it to you? You're gonna make me do it to you. Alright, here we go. That way, on the way back, uh, we can get that uh, EXP going for Gloom. Gloom, Gloom, Gloom! And I think the soonest time we can get a leaf stone is Celadon City, so I might skip a few things to get that. <clears throat> like the Lavender Town stuff, I might skip over that and try to avoid trainers and evolve it and then do it. So we'll just see how that goes. I remember me, I'm Professor Oak State. If you caught so many Pokemon, you get a TM. Thank you. Alright, now I get this Ether. Paralyzed Hill. It used to be better stuff in the original game. It used to be like a PP up and a HP up. But you know. Times change. We're in a recession. Free put free items on the floor. You know. They change. Oh, a dream eater. I can't learn it. Alright, we live in though. Now we can uh Walk this way, talk this way, come give me a kiss. <clears throat> We're going to go with the old Amber because most people forget about that. It's a very necessity. I mean, if you want a level 5 Aerodactyl late game. We just stole the old Amber. Yeah, dude, I'll go uh, revive this fossil and uh, let you know what it turns into. All right, guys, uh, how much can I get for this on the black market? $100,000? Fuck yeah. Sold. No, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. Does this count? No, that's, that's trash. Mm. 
Leave me the hell alone. Fuck. That was scary. All right, here we go. Um, that track just saved my life. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of Bullet Seed, honestly. I never use it. Get out of here with your magnitude bullshit. I really need y'all to stop. I'm not trying to lose gloom. I hate Doug. I hate Diglets in the arena trap. Leave me the hell alone. All right, that's it. Pork job, get back up front. Oh, you want to die? Fuck you. You want to die? Fuck you. Bitch. <clears throat> Trying to kill my Pokemans. All right, honestly, I'm going to use the Charmeleon to beat this gym up until the gym leader. And then I'm just going to sweep it with uh, Doug Trio. Because I don't care about that. And then I'll put Doug Trio in the box. All right, here we go. Come fight me. Haha. -ha. Didn't see my dig coming, did you? Uh, I meant to put him somewhere else. Oh, well. Dig dead. Dig dead. Dig dead. Oh, yeah. Feels good. Feels good. All right. Trash only. Trash only. I hate this puzzle. Oh, yeah. It's the very last one. Awesome, dude. Fucking trash. Oh, sweet. I did it. Ah, first try. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay, Asimus. We did it. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> we did Surge's gem puzzle and beat it on the first try. We did it. All right, here we go. Time to face off against Lieutenant Surge. Here we go. Hey, kid, what do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat, not with your puny power. I tell you, kid, electric Pokemon saved me during the war. They zap my enemies into paralysis, and the same as I'll do to you. Oh, well, that's fantastic. That's not very nice, though. So let's see what you do here, punk. Bitch. Natsu's coming out. And we're going to go ahead and go for the dig. Super potion. We'll go for the ember. And now we're going to go for the dig. Oh, shit. Why am I speeding up? Sorry, 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 sorry. YouTube. And whoever's watching right now. <clears throat> All right. Pikachu comes in. We are screeched. So our defense is lower. And I know I said I was going to sweep uh, this with uh, Doug Trio, but uh, I guess I lied. And I'm going to, well, I'm going to switch here because I'm, I'm defense lower. And I'm going to go to Stink, and then I'm going to take it out. And uh, at least I only lose the XP on one Pokemon. Even though we're a hell over leveled for this battle. Well, let's go for dig. Diggly T, Diggly T, Drio, Drio, Drio. Diggly T, Diggly T, Drio, Drio, Drio. Drio, 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 Drio. You rose your evasiveness. Oh, you're trash. This is why I hate Raichu so much. Well, Lieutenant Surge is Raichu. He did not have those moves. 
Okay, so Stink dug a oh my god, double team again. I guess it can't really do nothing else. Dig for the win. Knocked out. Peace out, Cub Scout. Oh, but we got paralyzed, but that's fine. Because we won. And we get our third gym badge of the Nuzlocke. And we are trucking. We're doing great. So he just basically says we get the Thunder Badge. We can now fly anywhere we want. And we get TM Shockwave. So thank you very much, Lieutenant Surge, for saying how you're going to wipe the floor with me. And then getting wiped the floor with. How fitting. You American liar. American hero, my ass. All right, now we can go ahead and put uh, Doug Trio in the box because we don't need it no more. So our team is looking good. So let's go ahead and move on over here. Let's see what we got. And, okay. So we're going to move on to the next portion. So we got three badges today. Um, I'm probably going to stream this again tomorrow. Depending on, uh, you know, just depending. But probably be another three hour stream from seven to seven to ten um i really wanted to get that gym badge out of the way because i mean it wasn't going to take no time anyway but uh i appreciate everyone for watching today please leave a like follow subscribe um if you want to wait to follow till i stream again that's fine uh the more y'all interact during the stream is cool too so and for anyone watching on youtube thank you for taking the time to watch this and hope you join us on twitch uh whenever i stream so thank you very much for watching see you guys next time